Hi friends, now we are going to talk about how we can move transport, copy transport from one client to another. This is very, very important for customizing request, okay, because this is client dependent, okay. So what you do is you generally have a transport request and all those things. I don't have another client I'm logging in, but I'll show you how to do it. So slash and SCC1, very important. Type it wrong. Okay. I hope CC1 is not a transaction. Okay. Oh, is it? Okay. Sorry. It's uh, SCC1. Okay. So once I go here, I do not have authorization. But here, once I get the, once you have the authorization, you have to mention the source client and give the transport request, include trans request in task in request, and just start import immediately. That's it. This is the thing you have to do always, day in, day out. For a functional consultant, <coughs> you have to do because you create the configuration in a golden client and you want to test it in another testing client. So this is the way. But once you move to QA, you don't have to do it. But initially, the unit test you have to do in another client. So that's why SCC1 is important. If you move to another system, like a QA system or pre -thought, you don't have to do this. This is only for dev. Okay. So that's it. Stay tuned to my SAP channel and happy SAP learning. And if you like it, share and subscribe to it and have a great day.